I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about Game 2 of the World Series. Astros win 7-2 over the Atlanta Braves, and even the series at one apiece. A pretty darn solid performance by Jose Urquidy on the mound tonight as our starter. The offense woke up, and the bullpen, continuing with the theme this postseason, was absolutely locked down. Let's start talking about it. First inning, Jose Urquidy strikes out the first two guys, Eddie Rosario and Freddie Freeman. That's pretty darn impressive outright. Next is Ozzy Albies. And, oh look, another weak single. Uh, it seems like he's had a dozen of those and it's been two games. I think, realistically, he's had at least three infield hits in the first two games of the series. Maybe four. It's kind of silly. I mean, he just keeps beating these little weird ones out. It's kind of frustrating. The inning continued. Uh, Austin Riley would also then single, and at that point you start to sweat a little bit. But a third strikeout of Jorge Soler ends the inning, and the Astros say, okay, we'll turn it over to the bottom of the order. And something magical happened. Altuve, leadoff double. And I don't like to toot my own horn all that much. He says seconds before, then tooting his own horn. Beep, beep, everybody. I, I... I called that perfectly. I don't know how, but last night I said Altuve should lead the game off with a double, and that'd be great. And there it was, right on schedule. Brantley with a protective out moves him over to third. Bregman with a sack fly makes it one nothing Astros. And the Astros, who were 5-0 and this postseason, I do believe, uh, when scoring first, take the early lead. But then the next inning happened. Okay. Two outs, right? You strike out Jock Peterson, you get a line out from Adam Duvall. It's Travis Darno. it's 0-2 count. 1-2, it's 2-2, two, two. you wanna stop? Okay, it's a full count, and you gotta be kidding! No homers, it's 1-1, one, one. and at that moment you're going, I need an adult to pick me up because it's happening again! One, you're frustrated because we had such a good start in the first inning, and in this inning again you get two outs, you get way ahead of the batter, it should have been over, but then it wasn't. Then after that, Dansby Swanson got this weird little single off of Correa where he could have fielded it and then just didn't. And you're like, please, this inning has to be over. Luckily, Eddie Rosario would line out to end the inning. But it was frustrating nonetheless because it could have been over when you had him down 0-2 in the count. At that moment, you kind of panic a little bit because, yeah, it's only 1-1. But the theme this postseason for the Astros pitching staff, specifically the starters, is not getting any length out of them. And also, we can't finish batters off. We keep getting in pitchers' counts. It'll be 1-2, it'll be an 0-2 count. And you allow them to battle back, and not always do they get on base or hit home runs, but they battle back and make you work, and that just drains up a pitcher's gas tank. And it's incredibly frustrating, and it looked for a moment like it was gonna happen again, because if I'm not mistaken, it took 40 pitches for Jose Urquidy to get out of the first two innings. And it, you're just like, it's happening again. At least that's what we thought. Luckily, the Astros offense said, hey guys, don't worry. We've come to play tonight. We have pulled our heads out of our you-know-whats and completely showed up tonight. Correa strikes out to begin the inning. That's not ideal, but that does seem be to be a bit of a theme this postseason. Kyle Tucker singles. If no one got me, Kyle Tucker got me. Yuli Guriel singles to put the runners at the corners with one out. Jose Siri with a hustle single beats out a throw by Ozzy Albies. And the Astros are cooking. It's 3-2 Astros. You still have two runners on. After that, Martin Maldonado with... Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. What seemingly is an easy play. Maldonado grounds one in between Swanson and Riley into left, right? Eddie Rosario fields it. Yuli is already coming around. He is going to be safe at home plate. The run is going to score there. So it's already going to be 3-1 Houston. Jose Siri, fast guy, going from first to third on this little single, right? Eddie Rosario, a perfect throw to third base. And if there's a guy there, he is out, I do truly believe. Key words in that sentence. Anyone know what they were? That's right. If there was a guy at third. Austin Riley, nowhere near the bag. Uh, Max Freed, again, nowhere near the bag. It goes right between the two of them, splits like the Red Sea. Jose Siri gets up, he runs home, he scores. Maldonado moves over to second. It's 4-1 Astros, and the start of errors and mistakes tonight defensively by the Braves were kind of starting to show here. Wild pitch would then move Maldi over to third. Altuve would line out, but then Brantley would single to make it a 5-1 Houston lead, and Bregman would ground out to end the inning, but a magnificent offensive output by the Astros to make it a 5-1 lead 
and give Jose Urquidy a solid lead to work with, which then allowed him to fill the zone with strikes, which worked pretty darn well. Some brave small ball, which would eventually end up with a Freddie Freeman RBI single to make it 5-2 in the fifth, would be the last inning of work for Jose Urquidy, who pitched a really great game tonight. Uh, again, 5-2, still not too bad, and the Astros weren't done offensively quite yet. Also not done yet were the gaggle of errors committed by the Braves. All right, sixth inning. Jordan walks, Correa singles. Jordan's at second. Cool. Uh, Tucker grounds one. Right to Ozzy Albies. Easy double play. Gives it to Dansby Swanson. Pulls him almost off the bag. He's barely able to hold on with the tip of his toe to get one out. That's not great. You could have had two outs, runner at third. Instead, it's one out runners at the corners. Next up, Yuli Gurriel. Right, bats went over to Dansby Swanson. He throws to Ozzy Albies, and he doesn't catch the ball. I thought personally it was on the transfer that he made the error. They rule it that he never possessed it in the first place. Instead of a tailor-made double play to get out of the inning, the second tailor-made double play in as many batters instead scores a run to make it 6-2 Houston. Both runners are safe, and the Astros still have some ability offensively to get more runs across the board. Granted, they wouldn't, but that could have been... I mean, that was just bad. Two quite poor defensive plays in a row by Ozzy Albies is not what you want to see. And Ozzy Albies, by the way, a very good defensive player. He's in the 85th percentile for outs above average on baseball savant. Very unusual for him to make back-to-back -back errors like that. The Astros' final run of the evening would come across with a Jose Altuve home run into the Crawford boxes in the seventh inning to put us up 7-2. to two. Altuve's 22nd home run in his postseason career, tying Bernie Williams for second all-time in career home runs. Now, the difference is Altuve has played 75 career postseason games with about 320 plate appearances, whereas Bernie Williams and Manny Ramirez, who both are ahead of him, well, one's ahead of him, the other is tied with him, both have over 110 games and well over 500 plate appearances. Jose Altuve really has a chance to be the all-time career leader in postseason home runs before his career is done with, which would be absolutely awesome to see. Uh, in the eighth, Presley came in. He was okay, gave up a walk, but looked solid overall. Graveman had the ninth. He looked really good. And the Astros get a massive game, too, where the starting pitching actually woke up and the bullpen, once again, was magnificent. Let's talk about those two. Jose Urquidy, you know, gives up the homer in the second, but stays calm because we get the massive lead in the bottom half and gives us five innings. Five innings of two-run ball is not sexy baseball, right? That's not poster material for anything. But given the predicament with how bad our starting pitching's been, you're pretty darn happy with this. Along with that, your key tonight was a strike-throwing monster. Seven strikeouts, no walks, only gave up hits, which is pretty solid. I'll take that, certainly. Your key looked pretty darn fantastic tonight. After that, we gave the ball to Christian Javier for the bullpen, and start. <laughs> he was the start of the bullpen's magnificent night again for the Astros' bullpen. That I mean, if you would have told me how good the Astros' pen would be in this postseason, I would have thought we would have just won 11 straight games and won the World Series like that. Like, our bullpen has been so good this postseason. Realistically, I know it's not how it works. The postseason MVP should just go to every single bullpen pitcher the Astros have. Every reliever should get it. I, it they've saved us this postseason. Uh, Christian Javier gave up a hit and a walk in his inning in a third, but a pair of strikeouts. He looked great. Phil Maton got two outs. He looked pretty darn good. Ryan Presley looked good with a walk in his inning of work, but a pair of strikeouts. Graveman dots up the last batter of the evening, and the Astros tie it up at one apiece going into Atlanta for game three. What a night. Offensively, seven runs, not too shabby. What's also pretty nice about it is how spread it was. Altuve and Brantley had multi-hits. They were the only ones. One hit for Correa, Tucker, Yuli, Siri, and Maldonado. RBIs for Altuve, Brantley, Bregman, Yuli, Siri, and Maldi. All of them with an RBI. A good night where it was spread around. No one player carried him on the back. It was the entirety of everybody. Everyone at some point tonight put the team on their back, and it was fantastic to see. The Astros take a crucial game against probably the ace of their rotation just straight up, and now with Morton gone, especially the ace of their rotation against Max Freed, they take it. Tie it up at one going to Atlanta. 
Game 3 is Friday at 8.09 Eastern, 7.09 Central. They're going to send Ian Anderson to the mound, and we're going to send Luis Garcia, who hopefully Luis Garcia can continue from his last pretty solid start, and the pressure can hopefully crack the Braves, and we can they can lose their first home game of the playoffs. That's going to be a fun Rubik's Cube to try to solve for Houston, eh? I'll be here about 10 minutes before game time for that, for the stream, and I'll be here afterwards for the recap for it. But that is all I have to say for the evening. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or the stream, please consider subscribing. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, Ghost Rose.